Web3 and blockchain technology have the potential to fundamentally change how the financial services industry operates. A recent report by consulting firm BCG predicting that real world assets moving onto the blockchain represents a $16 trillion opportunity by 2030. From stable coins to tokenized securities, right through to central bank digital currencies, we're starting to see use cases which will enable companies to launch new products and services and reach new customer segments. With this massive opportunity, how can the financial services industry fully embrace Web3? To better understand Web3, let's touch on the development of the web. There have been three versions of the internet to date. First, we had Web 1.0 in the 1990s. We call this the read-only internet, where you could build upon open protocols, but pages were static. As we moved into the 2000s, we had Web 2.0. We call this the read-write internet. Users were able to engage in content such as social networks. Financial services benefited massively with the arrival of online banking and payments, like PayPal, fintech challenger apps, such as Revolut, and real-time payments. Now, we have the most revolutionary version of the internet with Web 3.0, or as it's commonly known, Web 3. This is the read, write, own internet. Web 3 leverages the power of blockchain technology and tokens to give ownership back to users. Tokenization is the process of representing any asset on a blockchain. Think about money, financial instruments, such as bonds, and all kinds of real-world assets, like real estate and carbon credits. Tokenization has the potential to create massive efficiencies in back and middle office operations. For example, by streamlining key activities, such as issuance, transfer of ownership, and asset servicing. This will mean financial services companies will be able to offer a greater level of service to customers. Tokenization enables fractionalization, which means that financial products which typically had a high ticket size can be reduced. Imagine the threshold of buying a fund being £1,000 instead of £100,000. This is exactly what fractionalization enables. Tokenization and fractionalization represent a massive opportunity for the financial services industry by enabling them to offer new products and services to digital asset companies. The technology also has the ability to improve financial inclusion by dissolving financial borders and extending access to financial services to underbanked and unbanked populations. This all sounds great on the face of it, but that begs the question, why hasn't there been a greater adoption in traditional finance to date? Firstly, there's been a lack of regulatory clarity. Regulators take time to assess new technology and its impact on industries and on customers. This regulatory uncertainty has meant financial institutions are not comfortable to invest at scale and only test the technology. However, we're starting to see good regulatory clarity, particularly in Europe. The passing of MECA by the European Union, as well as the Financial Services and Markets Act in the UK, are setting the stage for financial services companies to invest in Web3 in the coming years. Secondly, we haven't seen standards and maturity. Given that blockchain technology is quite nascent, there's been a lack of standards for enterprise use cases. This has meant that financial services companies have been involved in more proofs of concept as the technology hadn't proven itself as both reliable and scalable for bank use cases. However, over the last 18 months, we've seen a large number of production implementations based on emerging smart contract standards and enterprise-grade digital asset infrastructure providers. The killer use case has been tokenization, where there's been innovation from a number of banks globally. We're seeing banks issue stable coins, like National Australia Bank, tokenized securities, like BNP Paribas, and the world's largest custodian bank, BMY Mellon, launching a digital asset custody offering. Thirdly, we have upskilling and education. As often happens with new technology, this creates new needs and skills within an organization. Getting up to speed with these skills takes time, and that's why it's important to invest in training and education, not only internally, but also for customers. Once blockchain technology is understood and demystified, this allows employees to identify killer use cases and educate customers on the benefits. With all the potential benefits of Web3, what can financial institutions do to launch a successful Web3 offering and transform their business. There are three fundamentals to launching and scaling a Web3 offering. Firstly, it's important to build your digital asset roadmap. Understanding the use cases applicable to your business and where they fall on your roadmap is critical to success in Web3. Secondly, choosing your infrastructure partner. A key component of launching a successful Web3 offering is ensuring that you have robust infrastructure in place 
to help you scale and grow your business without compromising on security. Third, we have your ecosystem. Web3 and blockchain technology requires a network of participants to reap the greatest benefits. Being able to organically build your ecosystem is a crucial step. Ensuring that you have the right partner to safely support you scale across all leading use cases will be critical to success. Across all three areas, Fireblocks can be your trusted partner to launch and scale your Web3 business. We've built a network of over 1,800 institutional clients, including some of the world's largest financial institutions. Our solution has helped financial institutions issue, secure, and transfer trillions of dollars worth of assets. Whether it's support on building your roadmap, launching a new offering, or scaling your business, Fireblocks can support you on every step of your journey. So, as we've seen, Web3 has the potential to reshape the financial services industry with greater regulatory clarity, standards, and transformative use cases coming through. There has never been a better time to invest in your Web3 business. With over $50 billion already invested in Web3 infrastructure for financial markets, don't miss out on the opportunity to be the leader in the next wave of financial services innovation.